Hello everybody, welcome to Friday Night Stand Firm. I'm Jimmy Ventura and in the booth with me is Gorilla Metzo. Hello. Good evening everyone in the JFW. Gorilla Metzo here. We are back for Friday Night Stand Firm. But you know what? I, I gotta I gotta leave you in the booth hanging. I gotta I gotta leave you in the booth hanging right now, Jim. I, I got something to say and I wanna say it to everyone on the broadcast and everyone in the arena right now. Boy howdy, okay, well. We're going to start with a oh, promo yes. from the man himself, no, the me. man, the myth, the legend, the GM of Stanford, and, I will and I will arguably defend. the best commentator ever. 25 months the real of the Metal. JFW. <laughs> Glorious. Thank you very much, Night Demon. 25 months of the JFW. Unbelievable. Thank you so much. Glorious. Oh, the imagine oh, that that should be Daedal's. That should be Daedal's. Uh, <laughs> that should be Daedal's trademark. And <laughs> every time he gets the chalice, he just doesn't score and turn it. <laughs> oh dear. Here we go. Here he is. What's he got to say? We do in Cleveland, Ohio. Gorilla Mezzo here. How we doing, JFW Universe? I got something to address, and I think we all know it's what Jim McMahon did to my main event last week on Friday. Stand firm, canceling the two heads title match for G'day Nick and Try. I cannot abide by that. Absolutely not. So here is what we're going to do tonight. In the main event, we've got a, a triple threat TLC match. Tag teams of all Stan Firm's making. And at the top of that ladder awaiting one of them will be a briefcase. And in that briefcase will be a promissory note. That's right, a promissory note. I have petitioned the investors of the JFW to allow Stan Firm an exclusive two heads title of its own so we don't have to deal with Jimps' bullshit on Claw anymore. That's right, the winners tonight will sign that contract next week and become your first ever Stan Firm Tag Team Partners. See ya. Wow, amazing stuff, amazing stuff from Gorilla Metzo there. I don't believe it. Hopefully, eventually he'll leave. Yep, there he goes. <laughs> wow. What a statement from Gorilla. Stand Firm Tag Team Championship is going gonna, is gonna to be a thing. Very exciting. What a main event that's going to be. But first, we've got Satterfield versus... Bizarre. All right, I'm back in the booth. I'm sure you kept the crowd red hot while I was gone. Jimmy, how we doing? <laughs> Not bad at all, thanks. Yep, absolutely red hot. I'm on it like a car bonnet today. Um, I know you are. That's why we keep you around these parts. I'm yeah, so I can't good. wait. Cannot wait to crown the first ever smack... Er, Friday stand firm. <laughs> Why on earth would you say anything like smack? <laughs> I was looking at my penis. That's I'm sorry, I was. <laughs> Maybe you're looking at the Elliot smacked in the face by a penis emote. <laughs> exactly. That's right. Next week, one of the three tag teams later in tonight's main event will become champions. It's going to be amazing. But first, we've got more from Satterfield. What a run he's been on, showing a little bit of ring awareness last week, getting the count out victory. But now he's going to have his hands full of bezel. <laughs> oh, boy. It's been a while any... since we've seen a good bezel entrance, hasn't it? It's been a long time, yeah. Hello, Mardamfua. 
What can I say? I like to give the people what they want. Glorious. <laughs> Looks like he just rolled out of bed and he's ready to wrestle. <laughs> Can't wait to see what he's got under that robe. <laughs> oh, I think you know what he's got under that robe. There he is, the father creator himself and his uh, child son, invent his child invention. He's got to wage war later on, extreme rules against Crusher. That failed tag venture going to fall apart later on tonight, but first, Bezal is here, and he's ready for Satterfield. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fun books. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, hey, so Fan good. Fox. Suddenly, those titles around your waist not looking so shiny, knowing there's going to be brand new tag titles exclusive to Stan Firm, and you ain't getting your grubby hands on them. Boy, howdy. Fan Fox That's will be right. pissed about that. Probably. But here we go. Satterfield taking it to Bezel. No, Bezel giving it right back to Satterfield. Oh. Nice step through. Takes him down. Grabs that leg. And look out. The half Boston oh. Crab. The move that defeated EAB. <laughs> the devastating half crab. Dang. Oh. Look at this, the nice surfboard here. Oh god, that is a view right up the <laughs> Oh, look at this, hangs on into a guillotine. Oh no, this might, Satterfield might have to tap out here. He's nowhere near the ropes. Oh no, I thought he did tap for a second. <laughs> he did kind of tap against the side of Bezel's head, but that was just to punch him. And then he just shrugs off the smaller man, and now Satterfield coming, into con coming in control of this match. Look at that flurry. <laughs> we know it. Very good. Right. I'm just going to get a cup of tea if that's okay, Gorilla. Absolutely no problem at all. If only we had a sound button so we, we could press yep a few times, yep. but I'd be right yep. back. <laughs> Every now and then someone just pop a yep in chat and we'll be good to go. And here we go. Yeah, you can say what you want, Fan Fox, but uh, I wasn't the one who... Uh, who canceled a uh, who canceled a, a, a two heads title match just because my ego wouldn't let me have that happen on someone else's show? Oh, and there we go, dropping the knee. Satterfield all over Bezel here. Bezel almost had him on the submission, but he hasn't looked good since. Oh, look at that, Narclay! Oh, out of nowhere, Satterfield in with a pin. This could be all over. No, a one count kick out. Bezel is not a man to be denied. And another one count kick out. Satterfield only got an extra punch in there in between kick outs. Not going to be it. Might have to think about getting that snack mass off. Oh, he's going to fly. Former tag team partner of top rope johnny what's he got from the top rope oh look out oh no oh my goodness what a beautiful moonsault and he sticks the landing satterfield says it's over and i gotta agree bezel's not kicking out of this two count he did it bezel still in the match somehow and here comes bezel using that speed and quickness good technical wrestler Oh, look out! He's going to pop and lock and booty drop. Oh, no. And that is a, a huge recovery by Bezel, driving his anus right into Satterfield's chest for a two count, a long two count, though. Here comes Satterfield recovering. He's got himself up again. Oh, look out. Beautiful DDT right into a very quick pin. Ref, ref was caught off guard by that pin. Might have cost him. That could have been a three count if the ref had been on the job there. Nice side German, though. 
<laughs> I'm sure there's worse stains in that shirt already, Moradam. Look out, Bezel. Oh, my goodness. Is he going top rope again? No. He might be thinking about that snack mask, though. He's going to crank the neck, though. Devastating maneuver here. <laughs> Arguably. Pretty sure Bezel's uh, anus smells like scotch and cigarette butts. Oh, the running knee. It's over. It's over. He's got another one. This is We've seen this end so many matches before for Bezel. Will he go for the pin here? He's not going for the pin. Something woke up inside of Bezel, and he's got the crowd behind him right now. Drives the knee into the lower midsection. Bezel a little winded, but he's got a significant advantage here after some big moves into Satterfield. But he's really got to think about putting him down on the mat. He doesn't want him going outside the ring right now. That's all. Oh, yeah, this could be bad. Satterfield could recover here. And as we saw last week, Satterfield grew at ring awareness, able to get the count out victory. But it's not looking good. Satterfield was all over this match early on and now just getting dominated. Here we go, though, using that speed one more time. Is he going to get another count out? It's getting, oh, dear. We're at the four count. Still a ways to go here, but they're nowhere near going in the ring, or are they? Oh, Bezel busted open. Yep. Yep, indeed. <laughs> we had you covered. Some high <laughs> kicks there by Satterfield. Jim, I don't believe it. I think we're going to see another count out here. Oh, wow, this We're is on amazing. the seven count. The eight, the eight count is notoriously long, though. Bezel's yeah, got nice. plenty of time here. <laughs> Maybe not that much time. Satterfield going to do it again. He's doing whatever no works way. for him. He's got him. He's got him. He's celebrating. He's got him. <laughs> oh, my and God. Satterfield. Satterfield has, has invented a new finisher. It's called <laughs> the count out victory. And he is 3-0 and now, two count outs in a row to get here. Unbelievable by Satterfield. Look at that moonsault though. That was, I've never seen that out of Satterfield before in my life. No, it was no. glorious. Wow, wow, incredible stuff. Yeah, Satterfield on an absolute <laughs> tear. Hard to imagine any other singles competitors right now really se separating themselves from the pack like Satterfield has just done in the last three weeks in this rebrand of Friday Stand Firm. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> wow, Ansi. <laughs> Here is your winner, Beefcake Saturo. Beefcake Saturo, that was amazing. <laughs> 3 plus 1 equals 6. The legend. Unbelievable. Satter standing tall once again. Get used to it, JFW Universe. Boy, howdy. Indeed. Well, now, wow, wow, what a match we've got for you now. The Plim Plum Plusers oh. going at it. The, the four-man elimination format for the Plim Plum Plusers never disappoints. And these four guys have all been in a few of these at this point. Just Joe, Le Bread Mask, ha, 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 ha. Uh, Eliod, and Muppet Pac-Man, all veterans of the, uh, of the Plim Plum Pluser weight division. Uh, all of them former champions except Elliot. No, Elliot won it once, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, I think so, yeah. All, all former. Form yeah, I mean, that, that bill gets passed around. <laughs> As much as... Don't say anything bad! I... Wendy... <laughs> Wendy does. I... Oof, I had to veer on... I had to veer into a brick wall on that one. Yeah, <laughs> that, yeah, yeah, that belt yeah. gets passed around more than uh, a Scotsman passes around Calcium's wife. Oh, <laughs> I toned it down, okay? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh my god, god. There, was, there was something so bad I can't even say it on a, on, on a Calcium's Discord, it was like... 
It was pretty funny. So there you go. Right, oh, moving okay. on. Yeah, okay, Extreme Rules, on. it should be good. <laughs> extreme Elimination Match. Last Man Standing is going to Backlash for a shot at the title. No further stipulations announced at this time, though. Oh, baby. Very exciting. Someone banned Fanfox. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, store, watch closely because one of these guys is almost assuredly going to kick your ass <laughs> Sunday at, well, not this Sunday, in not a couple Sunday. Sundays at Backlash. <laughs> May 8th, I think. Yeah, something like that. And could it be the Friday night fuckboy himself, that red mask? <laughs> Be. Yeah, Storm Goliath did absolutely kick your ass, but he didn't. He didn't put you away. He punished Storm for so long, and then somehow got caught out. He made no such mistake on Monday night in Claw last week, as he demolished Muppet Pac-Man in about five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> what is uh, what is Jim McMahon doing over on Claw, pairing his EAB champion against the smallest guys and? <laughs> I think Seems, he doesn't like Plim Plum Pluses. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm pretty sure that's the case. Hey, but you know what? You know who does? It's Friday. Stand firm. We love him here. And this match is about to showcase why. Glorious. <laughs> I love Elliot. Sorry, I'm a bit tired. I've stayed up till like 8 a.m. and then 7 a.m. <laughs> I'm just not really getting back to normal very well. <laughs> oh, baby. We haven't seen this in a while either. Just Joe, the great, one of the greatest entrances in the JFW. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Vanilla Midgets, yeah. Damn that, Jim. Yes. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> yes! <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Absolutely glorious. <laughs> One of the least explainable JFW wrestlers to the outside world. Just <laughs> Yeah, he's got to be, hasn't he? <laughs> Oh yeah, Frosty, welcome aboard. You got the night off, but you've been on a fucking tear as well, getting yourself a title match at Backlash. But who are you gonna pick? We'll find out, hopefully soon. Flash hood, isn't it? That, that's what that is, a flash hood. <laughs> flesh hood, I think, is uh, <laughs> more, more accurate in this case. <laughs> The fire wanker himself. Amazing. <laughs> so good. Oh man, this entrance might be gone in 2K22. Yep. Sad day if it is. The fan favorite Muppet Pac-Man gonna wiggle his way to the ring. Oh baby. <laughs> what a what a week Muppet had last night. He got his got he got his crypto million stolen by his dad, and then he got destroyed by Goliath in mere seconds. But can he can he you know, get some salvation in Friday night. Stand firm, the home of the Plim Plum Pluser Wits. 
Absolutely. Getting back to the Plim Plum Blues Away title has got to be more important and more valuable than a bunch of pretend money and getting his ass kicked by Goliath. That's for damn sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Glorious busted. Four grams of <laughs> I saw I saw a video mashup of the of Johnny Depp on the stand constantly getting uh interrupted by someone for speculation or whatever hearsay. I think it was hearsay. <laughs> and he was just like actively making fun of the lawyer while he was doing it. it he was like completely trolling him. It was very funny. <laughs> And look at this, we've already separated off. Just Joe going after the Friday fuckboy. Nice chin breaker there. But how do you break the chin of a loaf of bread if it ain't stale? <laughs> Toast it first, that's the answer. And he is a fireman. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. I've got, I've got earache as well, it's very annoying. Oh, here we go. A weapon for Le Bread Mask. Absolutely. Le Bread Mask. Well, he's looking for one. He's got a, oh, a structural Whoa. kendo stick. And he puts it right in Muppet's face and then drops it on his dick. <laughs> and that could be a, a bad spot for Muppet oh here. Because, yeah, wow. The Friday fuckboy on fire. He's actually staying focused. Tearing apart Muppet in the ring. We had a pinfall there. Didn't amount to much, and here comes just Joe. Oh, what a what a takedown by Joe there. Incredible. And a pin of his own on Elliot Pro. Yeah, it doesn't even get a one count. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh my god. The door, Joe. Elliot coming right back, furiously trading blows there. And on the outside, now Muppet taking over. No, big miss there. The Friday fuckboy all over Muppet again. <laughs> Elliot looking pretty rowdy in the middle of the ring there. He is. He's really taking it, taking it to Joe here. And the red mask brings Muppet back in. Elliot, though, he's got the perseverance. If he doesn't win this one, he could probably win one of the next 49 to try and get in that match, yeah. get that title. <laughs> Only 50 more matches until we're Plim Plum Plus away ready. Oh, oh my God, what a that. pin. Powerbomb into a pin. And no, oh, just a one and a half count there. But Muppet kicks out in a save. Oh, but beautiful Blue Thunder Bomb by Elliot. And now, oh, I thought he was going to hang on for the pin again. Everyone going down hard here. And here's the pin. Just another one count. Maybe would have had a two or even a three count if he just held on to that pinning move that he did to take him down to begin with. Yeah. Oh, oh look, look out, though. Look out, though. He's oh. using his own move against him. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Six one the nine. red mask. Yeah, the 6-1 rye. <laughs> Very good. And that might do it for Muppet Pac-Man. What a terrible week. No, he does kick out, saves himself. And there we go, Elliot. Uh, and, you know, just like not knowing squirrels have no hands, <laughs> he's uh, trying to get a submission outside the ring. That ain't going to do it. Oh, I'll clear out of nowhere. Wow. And now he's thinking about climbing to the top rope here. He's, he's, he's struggling. Oh, that's a long way away, though. It is. What's LeBred Mask thinking? He's thinking he probably can't reach him. Yep. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, he might have waited just a second too long to get that one, and that could be trouble for Tom Schnitz there. Oh, dear. He's such a good wrestler, though, isn't he? I can't believe how good all his moves and stuff are. I know. He just, just, just came up a little short on that one. Just like, th <laughs> like three seconds too late on that beautiful move. Yeah. Oh, look at that, though. Twist the fade on the outside. Yeah. He came up a little too short, just like Calcium in the SFL final. <laughs> yeah, well, that's true. Oh, oh, and turnabout is fair play. Here comes the 619 of Muppets. Oh. And that connects as well. 
Could this spell disaster oh for the Friday fuckboy? He's in trouble now. Oh, oh no, the, the snake. The snake. Oh, I think Tom Schniz might be out of this one. Oh. He's got him. Oh, he's got him. Tom Schniz was so close, but he just waited a, a fraction too long and couldn't come up with the big maneuver to end uh, Muppet's run in this, and Muppet gets the elimination. Mm -hmm. A little try. Yeah. Yeah, I see, you, I see you working those two cats, double fisting cats today, huh? Yeah. You must be full on hard after hearing the news about tonight's match. And if you are just joining us, folks, tonight we have three homebred tag teams from, the, from JFW Stan Firm competing in a Money in the Bank match, the winner will get a briefcase with a promissory note in it, and next week will be awarded the two heads titles of, ex exclusively of Friday Stand Firm. We're adding new titles, and there goes Elliot. Wow, wow, great stuff from just Joe. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh my God, I thought, oh, he, had I thought he had him. Could Muppet redeem a very, very bad week, or is Just Joe going to rob him and get himself to backlash? Looks like Joe in charge here. Oh, boy. Oh, oh look no. out. Oof. Oh, and then kicked him oh, in the face. Oh, follows well. through. And that's got it. That's got to be it for Muppet here. Big move coming from Just Joe. Huge move. He just throws him over the rope <laughs> and punches him. Huge. Oh, oh look God. out. Here comes the huge move. He's got a gamble here. This didn't work out for Tom Schniz. Will it work out for Just Joe? Oh, nope. no. <laughs> <laughs> well, Muffin Pac-Man might be aided by the mercy of uh, brain worms from both of uh, both. Of, well, <laughs> oh, dear. They've both taken a lot of hits to the head. There's another oh, twist of fate, though. Oh, my God. Amazing stuff. Well, try. They're going to have to get through the winner three fives and uh, milk rage. No, that's not it. What <laughs> Blind <you> rage. <laughs> Blind rage. Blind rage, yes. Milk <laughs> rage. <laughs> Calcium oh and God. Flicky, Skuro and J5, and Try and Gdanik TLC match in the main event tonight. God. And next week, whoever wins that match will get to sign that promissory note and be handed the first ever exclusive two heads titles of Stan Firm. That's amazing, isn't it? Will it be the renowned Capcom enthusiasts? <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the people who are so angry, there's not even a way to describe them, or uh, two Americans. <laughs> <laughs> two two fat Americans. <laughs> two fat Americans. <laughs> two fat Americans who are probably the biggest threats in that match, though. <laughs> Top rope Johnny can fly. And Skuro, well, okay. One of them is a big threat. As good as winner three fives is a, is a name, I think yeah. maybe two fat Americans might have been. <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, of course, winner three fives. You've got to put some respect on the on Skurometso's name. He has won the most prestigious, uh, the most prestigious tournament in Blood Bowl two in Blood in all of Blood Bowl three times. Absolutely, three incredible. whole times. Also, uh, a Royal Rumble winner in the JFW. People keep forgetting that. Yeah. Well, yeah. technically, it wasn't the JFW, but now that the JFW owns all of the rights to shit, officially, <laughs> Skurometso, the first ever official Royal Rumble winner in the JFW. There you go. And here we go. Just Joe maybe looking for that uh, Swanton. No. Nope, just drops the elbow and comes up short, and Muppet has been feasting on missed aerial moves, but not <laughs> able to get anything going against Joe. Look at that Ooh. snap DDT. Devastating. This has been incredible from just Joe, hasn't it, to be fair? It really has. It, yeah, no ring rest whatsoever. When's the last time we saw him in a ring? I can't remember. <laughs> been a while. Certainly oh, Fireman Slam! Look at this! Fireman That's slam. it! That's got to be, be it! That's got to be it! 
Just Joe is going to backlash. No. No, Muppet kicks out. Muppet persevering. He's made an entire career off of his uh, toughness and perseverance and able ability to kick out, but he has to follow through here, and he is lying dead. Oh, look out. Slams the leg down. No. Another two count kick out. Muppet needs to get to his feet. He cannot weather more damage here. And he does. Oh, no. Just Joe's got to, got to find a way to put him away, though, hasn't he? He's hitting with everything sure he's does. got. Leg drop to the back of the uh, elbow. Got to believe that wouldn't do that much. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and here it is. Sweeps the leg. Muppet's got him to his feet. This is his chance. This is his last. No, the judo takedown. Oh, yeah. Just when you think you get a little bit of hope. <laughs> Oof. Kicks out again. That was a longer kick out than the fireman slam had. Mm. This is, this is, uh, the end is nigh for Muppet. If he can't get a counter in or get something going here, he is in huge trouble. Just Joe might be looking to end it all right now. What is he thinking? Big superplex, maybe? No, just to slap? No, he needed him up on those ropes to slap him. Oh, and that might have cost him. He, he, he found a way to take the smallest guy and put him at kicking uh, of the face level, but still not enough. <laughs> uh oh, well, this might be it. This is it. Another fireman slam coming. Surely, oh, this is it. Oh, Muppet down and out, and here's the pin. It's got to be. <laughs> he kicked out again! Muppet has kicked out again, but these all mean nothing if he can't get some offense going. Come on, Muppet, figure it out! Oh Everyone in the, uh, in, in the arena rooting for Muppet Pac-Man here. Nothing against just Joe, but Muppet has just got that it factor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the neck crank was going to end the match there. Yeah. After oh, all that, to off. lose to a neck crank. <laughs> And again, Muppet can't get the offense in. He's got to get a counter out. He's got to do something. He's got to not oh. allow that to happen. <laughs> Breaks the shoulder on the post. Look out. Oh, oh no. And just Joe doesn't even want to pin him anymore. He doesn't know what to do. Yeah. Pinning so. him's been the only thing that hasn't worked for Joe. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he needs to bust out a structural kendo stick to finish him off. Yeah, may maybe. But again, this is why we like booking those plim plom pluserweights. What a match we've had tonight between Ooh. these two. Oh, no, and now some blood flying. And Muppet just getting teabagged and it. elbowed <laughs> repeatedly here. Brutal. <laughs> oh, here's the counter, though. Muppet is up. Look at this! Look at this! Look at this! Oh my god, Selena Del Sol! And the pin! No way! No! Two cow kick out again, but here comes Muppet! Last chance! You gotta believe! This is Muppet's last chance to get some offense in and get a pinfall. Oh, well, there and he's it going is! For the, the snake. snake! The snake! He's dropped the snake, surely! Oh Charles, god. he got to do it! No! Two count again! Two count oh again, Muppet! God. Can't believe it, but he's got to keep going. He's got to keep laying it on, and look at this. Going to wrench that leg, snap the knee, and go for another pin. He, he's weak in the knee that he just took, though. Maybe hurting the kick out. No. Muppet. Oh, he missed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And this could be it. That could have been Muppet's chance. And now just Joe back up. Twist Whoa, the fade. It's over. It. It's over. Oh, but he's staggered. He's taking a long time. He's got to get in for that pin. Oof. Drops the knee right to the face. But Muppet, Muppet had his moment. And he just couldn't capitalize on it. And now just Joe, very frustrated. Oh. Looking for another Fireman Slam to finish off Muppet Pac-Man. This is surely, surely. Surely. Yeah, and that's got to do it. One, two, three. What an effort, though, by Muppet Pac-Man. And Just Joe gets the pinfall and is going to backlash. 
to face Store for the Plim Plum Cruiserweight title. Again, no further details on that match just yet, but I'm sure we'll hear more about it in the coming weeks. Yeah, incredible stuff. Can't wait to see just Joel's face again. <laughs> Poor Muppet, what a what a what an awful end to a hellacious week. He sure did. He sure did look to me like he was going to get the miracle win at the end there, and he just couldn't hang on and close the deal. And just Joe, a guy he's fought dozens of times before, able to get the win and get himself a ticket to Backlash. No, baby. Incredible stuff. And the crowd is into it, but you got to believe they would have been going wild for Muppet Pac-Man right now. What a disappointment for him. Congratulations, Just Joe. And, folks, it is time. <laughs> it oh, is baby. finally time. Oh, baby. The glorious, glorious return of Marcel McDaniels <laughs> issuing an open challenge in the ring. Who is going to answer that? Marcel, one of the most beloved and famed wrestlers in the JFW. <laughs> this is going to be something special. Marcel McDaniels in the ring calling out anyone backstage for his glorious return. Next. <laughs> oh, man. I, I can't wait. I can't wait to see this. Thank God. We, thank God Marcel is back. All right. Let's get to ringside. Fo wait. Wait, that's what? that's Wendy backstage, and that's Trent. Trent, um, they, these two have had all sorts of problems in the last couple of weeks, having it out here. Oh, no, they're fighting now. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Marcel waiting in the ring right now for an opponent, but we got to keep a camera back here because we have a situation developing back here. <laughs> <laughs> Trent going after Wendy backstage. Oh dear. Look at this. No, counters the suplex. Uh oh, Trent. And again, Trent, Trent, a, a hell of a wrestler, but green as the day is long. And, <laughs> green uh, as really... Timmy's grasses that he's crying. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, really, really doesn't have that veteran experience that someone like Wendy does. Wendy, a long, a long-standing veteran in our uh, very active women's division, <laughs> and uh, has really just has a leg up in experience here. And Trent might have picked a fight she can't win backstage, much like when Calcium picked a fight against Skirametzo <laughs> backstage and lost, or that time Calcium <laughs> picked a fight against Skirametzo in the SFL finals and lost. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, yeah, Marcel apparently is in the middle of the ring watching this on the Titan Tron, quite happy. Yeah, <laughs> and I am getting word here, folks, we are going to have to bump Marcel's uh, glorious return until next week. Apologies to Marcel and all of Marcel's fans, but we have to keep where the action is, and right now the action is backstage between Tren and Wendy. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, thunderous kick. Indeed. <laughs> the interviewer just the ran Miz. away, but the Miz yeah, doesn't the know Miz. what to do. <laughs> <laughs> the Miz, Miz uh, was uh, oh. doing a promo. Oh, no, no, he's going to run through. All right. <laughs> that was great. Oh, there's a chair on the ground. Is that going to come into play? Probably not. Probably not, no. Oh, look out, though. Alabama slam. Oh, my Ooh. goodness. Onto the pavement. That is a very dangerous move to take with no protection backstage. That's like 32 feet of pavement tonight, Jim. Wow, that's a lot of pavement. Nope. Oh, got her head again onto the ground. Trent celebrating here. Maybe a bit too soon, though. <laughs> Can't under... Oh, maybe not. Jesus Christ. <laughs> she just went dead-legged after hitting the wall there. Yeah. Was oh, but here comes Wendy right back at Trent. Trent maybe not e exerting a killer instinct in this one. Maybe not. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh! <laughs> Face first into the concrete, but she hangs on, not unconscious yet. And the match continues, the quote-unquote match here. 
Yeah. Oh, wow. Nice spine buster. That sure was. <laughs> oh, look out. Oh, my goodness. Drives her face into the knee. Oh, Trend so getting violent here. <laughs> oh, no. Bouncing off that electrical panel. We've seen that in matches before. I'm only just... Ne nearly into the career of oh my god, <laughs> nearly into the career of Jimmy Fantastic. That is an amazing move, isn't it? Doing some push-ups there. <laughs> and look out, potato drop coming. Here we we go. got 32 feet of concrete. That's it. Oof. Oh no, Wendy, we gotta have to get a medical team out to check out Wendy. But Trent taking the win in this backstage brawl. Oh my god, absolutely brutal. There you go. Yep. Well. That, that's 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 that sorted. Unfortunately, no time, no time for Marcel's yeah. match now. No, we we got it. We got a we got a strict TV uh, schedule to stick to. We're gonna have to bump Marcel. Promise you though, next week Marcel will be back. Open challenge. I'm reserving him a spot now. Next week we will get the return of Marcel McDaniel's. Glorious. I guarantee it. <laughs> can't I can't wait to see Marcel back in action. Holy I shit! I know it's gonna be so good. But you know what else is gonna be good, Jim? Champion versus champion. It's your Wem Dope champion night team and versus Tony Plays Poorly, your world heavyweight champion. Both men not uh, putting their titles up tonight and both men in the uh, in the scope of the sniper himself, Frost Lord Army. He's probably getting a title shot against one of these two at Backlash. Which one will it be? Well, it might have to be the loser of this match, if you're asking me. And you probably should, because I booked the damn show. <laughs> yeah, it's a good point. <laughs> uh, but yeah, 19 versus 20 first Pooley. Wow, this is gonna be this is gonna be a wild one. <laughs> no one see we can. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, maybe though. <laughs> and here he is, your Wem Dope Champion, Night Demon. Burn it down, baby. Holy Audi. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> like that one time, like that one time, I won all those gym points betting on the JFW. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on a pre-pre-recorded pay-per-view. <laughs> <laughs> what a risk taker. <laughs> uh, fiction looking to feel relevant again by uh, competing for an ir irrelevant belt. <laughs> well, it's it's still it's st it displays interest in the JFW. That's that's good. Yeah. That's good. That is true. The best thing you can do for yourself is attend a JFW stream. And, and and actively look like you want to partake in the JFW. Yeah. That's generally how we book people. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. As you can tell by just Joe just getting a pay-per-view shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, the champ is here. Watch out, Forsty. <laughs> there he is, the man, the myth, the legend. The JFW World Title exclusive to Friday Stand Firm. Yeah, we don't get the extra arms belt, but while he has that championship, Tony plays poorly, is the only JFW Stand Firm exclusive talent, and you can only see him on Friday nights. Holy howdy. <laughs> Yes, for them, yes. <laughs> there he is, big match Tony, going to face off against Night Demon. I don't know, have we seen these two one-on-one -on -one before? We must have. Yeah, surely we have done, but it doesn't... None off the top of my, off the top of the head, I can't think of it. What a match it's got to be. I don't think you know what you're saying, Fiction, but that sure was a, a way to tank any goodwill you just did. <laughs> <gave. laughs> Yeah, oh my two, God. two entirely different wrestlers the last time they faced one-on-one -on -one. because they both were uh, leaders of factions at the time. Those factions have since dissolved, and these two have been uh, really making singles uh, careers out of it, uh, out, out of the wake of that. Yep. <laughs> exactly, Frosty. You know what's up. Yep. 
And Tony coming in with those fierce close fists, but Night Demon firing right back, putting him up on the ropes. Wow, Night Demon starting big already. Look at this. Wow. Oh my goodness. Right off the back. Oh my God. Oh my God. He's going for the slow bay right away. Look at this. Oh Can my you believe God. it? Top rope zombie right off the rip. And uh, I didn't expect that. Night Demon going for the pin here. That could be it. Could oh, be. unbelievable. No. No. No, it's Tony. One count kick out. It's Tony. Plays poorly. <laughs> Shades of Ultimate Warrior and Triple H. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. That's oh. Frostlord's music. What's Frostlord doing here? Frostlord making his presence felt, but what's he got to do? He's oh coming God. in the ring. He's talking. He's jawing with Tony. Oh, look at oh this. Look at this. Pedigree to Tony. Tony oh just took God. the zombie. And that's going to that's gonna cause a disqualification. I think Frostlord just signed his contract uh, for who he's facing at Backlash. He wants his former best friend, Tony Blaze Portly, and he wants his world, champion, uh, world heavyweight championship. And you know what? Who am I to argue? Frost Lord versus Tony Plays Poorly coming to you at Backlash. Oh my god, unbelievable. Unbelievable. What a development. Holy moly. Unbelievable. Sorry. Commiserations there, Night Demon. You <laughs> you had a hell of a match going right off the bat. <laughs> but uh, you know, these things just happen. <laughs> yep. And next up, here it is. Talk about uh, exclusive tag teams to uh to stand firm we tried to homebrew a bunch this one did not pan out <laughs> lost all their matches and now extra arm spot and crusher gonna air their grievances with each other in an extreme rules match no man yeah i think so night demon although he did one count kick out of a top rope zombie so <laughs> tony is pretty much unstoppable <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that's Whoa. true. That's true, Frosty. <laughs> <laughs> well, now speaking of unstoppable, we've got the immovable, <laughs> not the unstoppable force but in Crusher versus the immovable object of EAB. Right? This is going to be epic. Here he is coming out first. You don't see him come out first off, and it's extra arms, but. The whole audience hushes as he stomps his way out. What a magnificent specimen Extra Arms Bot is. He is absolutely epic. The best thing to happen to Blood Bowl 2. <laughs> oh, without a doubt. And the worst thing to happen to Blood Bowl 3. <laughs> yeah. Because he won't be partaking. Yeah. Tragic. Oh my god. Stand in awe, JFW. While he has been on a bit of a losing streak, he is still extra arms bought. There's a reason the Monday Claws title is named after him. The biggest and the best, the baddest robot of them all. He knows exactly how many times you've conceded in, in CCL, and he knows exactly how hard that 30%er you're facing is going to beat you. He's extra arms bought. <laughs> Oh, baby, it's crushing. But on the other side of the arena very shortly ago, it's Crusher. <laughs> what a madass. He's a wild animal. He's clearly He's a, minotaur. a minotaur. Minotaur. He's a minotaur. minotaur. The minotaur is here, baby. <laughs> oh, man. If you see anything other than a Minotaur, you're an absolute idiot. <laughs> and a troll, or both. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Moradami. He sits there roaring in his cage, and then occasionally he gets let out uh, to have a fight. Just, Much just the same as Theresa in the ring. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, Extreme Rules, former partners, never got it together, about to destroy this ring, possibly. Mm -hmm. oh, EAB, asserting dominance early. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't think so, Ansi, no. She's, she's aware, Minotaur. <laughs> 
Hello, mm -hmm. Flicky, just in time. Main event next. We've yeah. got Rage Milk. Or fuck, why do I keep saying Rage Milk? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Matt Stryker over there. <laughs> Fucking Rage Milk. Wine Fury, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not to be confused with Rage Milk in a triple threat TLC match hanging at the top of the arena will be a promissory note the winning tag team next week on Friday Stand Firm will sign that note and become your exclusive <laughs> and first ever Friday Night Stand Firm Two Heads Champions hmm Rage milk it is. Yeah. <laughs> Muppet. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Maybe they'll rebrand the rage milk. <laughs> Who rage knows? Milk. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Dear and Crusher here going for a pin. This is going to easily be kicked out by EAB. Again, the, both these men forgetting its extreme rules could be grabbing a weapon. Maybe they just want to go at it, though. And they just keep bouncing off each other. And there it is. EAB has a few thousand pounds on Crusher. Oh, dear. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Brutal stuff from the AB. Oh man. And Crusher now standing tall somehow after the early onslaught by EAB. Gonna crank that neck though. Yep. Oh, big back body drop. That's a big man to flip, but not to EAB. And now he's going for a very hopeful pin here. Yep. And nice little shoulder massage. Very kind of EAB to look after Crusher there. Work on the uh, work on work on the collarbone a little bit. And now look out. He's got him by the jaws there. Yep. Trying to get him to tap. Does not tap out. Oh, look out, though. Huge, those huge ham hocks of, uh, of, of the Minotaur <laughs> wearing down EAB, and down and out he goes. Yeah, I think he's trying to fry the circuitry there somehow. Indeed. Let it all death forward him. <laughs> ham hocks. Ham hocks. Ham hocks. <laughs> Nope. Two count kick out here. These two might just be punching and kicking, but uh, a lot of force behind those punches and kicks. Yep. Yes, it's not exactly the technical masterclass that the Pun Pun Pluso 8 match was. <laughs> Certainly not. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. This, this is Jim McMahon's wet dream come true here. <laughs> it really is, yeah. <laughs> Oh, there's this big spear. Yeah, but he's not going for the pin. He might have had a pin here. It's extreme Instead, rules. he's going for a weapon, though. Yeah. Now he wants to dole out the punishment. Oh, my God. It's Sledgehammer. It is. It's like oh. a, yeah, a Sledgehammer. I don't know why I needed to clarify that. It definitely was. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and it was of absolute no effect on the match thus far. Yep, but he but look out, Oh, though. counter! Oh, counter! That was a little man counter by the big man. Amazing. And uh, I think I saw a little bit of blood stream out of uh, his horns there. Wow. Mm. Oh, that right hook just taking him down. Oh, my God. Oh! and he drops the elbow but he's outside of the ring can't get the pinfall there no count outs in an extreme rules match oh, man. 
Yeah, he's got to put him in the ring. And he sure does. Look out, Crusher. This could be it. Oh, a very late two count kick out. But Crusher not able to get to his feet before getting kicked in the spine. Oh, here comes a nice counter, though. Look at this. Wrenching one of those three arms on EAB. <laughs> yep, EAB at a huge disadvantage. Always has to wrestle with one arm tied behind his back. I mean, it's only fair. <laughs> yeah. He's got so many other physical advantages. We had to take an arm away. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, what a DDT there. And now I think I see a little oil streaming out of uh, EAB's helmet. Uh, or I head. Think that, I think that might be rage milk, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Some rage milk coming, baby. <laughs> And now look out. We saw one of these earlier in reverse, and now EAB able to get out. Oh, Lord, it's coming. <laughs> oh, he's going for the big oh. boot, but EAB wise to yeah. it. Catches the leg, kicks him in the hammy, and then misses with two punches. Uh-oh. <laughs> that might be that uh, head injury that EAB suffered. Yeah. His targeting systems might be offline right now. Oh, but he found target anyway. If you're big enough and you run forward, you're probably going to hit someone. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Right into that vicious neck massage. <laughs> Could you imagine getting your neck massaged by EAB? That sounds terrifying. Oh, man, I'd love it. <laughs> I've had a neck massage from a table leg wino and it's probably about the same. <laughs> oh, and here we go. We're going to do a little bit of turnbuckle walking here. Yeah, it's a, it's a JFW staple, isn't it? It sure is. And well, I don't know what he, <laughs> he thought he was pulling off on that one, but it did not end well for him. Oh, boy. Oh, look out, and that's EAB's signature. Now he's going to try and just rip that robot head right off. <laughs> and one more time looking for this submission. I don't think EAB's going to submit. Can't imagine tapping out. Nah, it's not a half Boston crab. <laughs> That's true, applied by the greatest wrestler in JFW history, probably. Definitely not, but I understand where your brain's at. <laughs> and here we go, nice shoulder tackle and into the pin. Just the two count once again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, EAB getting a little bit uh, excited here. Needs to maybe focus on the enemy, doing those little tiny crab hands, fondling <laughs> the balls, if you will. <laughs> oh, he caught him there, and here comes Crusher. Furious punching right back. Punch, punch, punch. Yeah, this is thrilling, isn't it? Thrilling match. <laughs> Well, the big men, sometimes they just use their brawn. It's not the most uh, flashy, but it gets the job done. And here comes a pin by Crusher. Will he have worn him down enough? Ooh. No, two count kick out again. So close. Oh, and a spear. Oh. That's got to be it. That's got to be it. It's got to be. Oh. No, the last second kick out by EAB in this match is still going. Don't know how, but I don't think it's going to be going for very long. Look out. Here we go. Will Jack he get it this time? Power bomb? Oh. He does. That's it. Good night, EAB. EAB losing a singles oh. match. No, he's not. 
He kicks out again. Somehow EAB hangs on and still in this match. But again, as we saw earlier, it doesn't mean much if you can't get offense going. And EAB knows that. Trying to get some offense going here. Just crush the life out of Crusher. Yep. A little bit too much celebrating. You only got an extra kick in there. Probably could have done a little bit more damage. But here he goes. Tombstone pile driver. Oh, That's wow. it. That could be it. Not going for the pin. Oh, he wants to drop that elbow. Oh, that's, he doesn't that's sit down. Sometimes he holds that for the pin. Yeah. Now he stands up, changes his mind, and that's got to be it. No. No, two count again. Both of these big men have a little bit too much pride to lose to the other one. They want to walk away from this brief feud uh, victorious. Yep. Again with the two count, DAB can't believe it. He needs to pour this, uh, pour the damage on. He kind of did that. Well, I don't know that one kick and then raising your arm is gonna put away Crusher. No, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> He's a wild animal. That could help though, driving all his weight into the lower back. Coming in again for the pin. No, two count again. EAB cannot believe it. Absolutely brutal. Oh. Rakes the face with his foot and right into stomping on his dick. And then the hand stomping on everything here. But he's still not putting him away. Can he get the tap out here? Look at this. Riding him like the horse he isn't. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Gorilla. Thank you. <laughs> and here comes Crusher. Last ditch effort by the oh. Minotaur. Oh my god. Big boot though ends that flurry quick. Here's a pin. He's got oh no two and a half, two and three quarters even. Crusher hangs on. Well, this has been an absolute slobber knocker, these two giants. He sure has. I think uh, Jim's came three times during this match. <laughs> At least. <laughs> One will have definitely been during Crush's entrance. <laughs> he may be really thinking that arm raise is going to win him the match, and it just isn't. <laughs> He's going for the mental warfare, isn't he? It's like, now you lose, yeah. typing that in chat in a Blood Bowl team. Oh, oh my God, there's the spear. Got the knee up and then countered with a spear. And Jesus Christ, how many times are we going to see one of the? Oh, different move. <laughs> oh, man, he thinks that's going to get him the win. It might. It gets him a two count. Oh, two count again. Both these men on fumes here. Different kind of fumes, though. <laughs> oh, look out. Another this jackknife. Is this has got to be it, right? It's got to be. Gotta be. Boosh. Down he goes. Crusher weathered the storm and he's got himself a three count. He's done it. Yes. Crusher getting the win. EAB looked so dominant for a lot of that match, but not able to keep it together. Might have taken a little Whoa. bit of a frith. Oh, oh, I don't think this feud's over. Oh, EAB right back oh to his feet. Oh, God. EAB, what are you doing? He's got Berserk. Yeah, I think I think that knock to the head might have put EAB on the fritz here. And we're going to have to get some security out there to haul EAB out for fixing. Bezel, Bezel, if you're listening, we're going to need some fixes on EAB. Bezel, please come to the backstage area to help us tend to EAB. Oh, oh my goodness. God. Dangerous moment there, folks. You don't want a rampaging EAB on your show. Unbelievable. And while we clear the ring, get ready. Here it is, your main event, triple threat TLC match. The winner three fives, Blind Fury, had to pause on that one. <laughs> and the tentacle porn weeb fuckers are all com com 
competing to get a promissory note next week will be crowned the stand firm exclusive two heads champions who's it gonna be it's gonna be very exciting isn't it no idea who's gonna win it but what i do know is it's gonna be an epic match it sure is tlc tag match anything can happen here i like to give the edge to the winner three fives because a First of all, Calcium in a championship match with Skrull on the other side. We know how that ends. <laughs> Secondly, top rope Johnny. There's nothing more top rope than the top of a ladder. And, uh, you know, speaking of ropes, they're kind of tentacle-like. I think Gnanik and, uh, and Try might be a little distracted coming into this one, and no one gives a fuck about Flicky. <laughs> <laughs> Flicky might just find himself a nice lamppost to walk into. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah, it, it, it's going to be very exciting when it finishes loading. All right, I am getting word that the ring arena, uh, the ringside area has been cleared. EAB has been uh, tended to. Thank you, Bezel. You really put in an effort there, just kind of shrugging and saying it's okay. <laughs> and, uh, let's get it on, folks. The main event is now. Glorious. And there it is, hanging in that briefcase is the promissory note that will crown one of these three teams a champion next week for on Friday. Stand firm. Here they are. It's G'day Nick and Try. Yeah. Renowned Capone enthusiasts. <laughs> Indeed. Tentacle loving weaves. <laughs> the tentacle loving weaves. <laughs> They they they've got a grudge here too. You know that you know they're pissed off coming into this one. They should have had a tag match last week. I agree they should have. I can't do anything about about Jim's not sending uh, sending two heads champions my way uh, when he gives them that time off. So uh, we're gonna go a different avenue to crown our superior tag champions. Will it be these two assholes? <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> or will it be these two assholes I think these two are my pick you know fair enough <laughs> I think you've never watched a CCL final in your life if you're picking on calcium right now well the thing is I've, I've got final. word I've <laughs> got word that if they don't win that Flicky is going to rage milk calcium after, after the match <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't know how Calcium's going to feel about that, but probably probably good to get him some at, probably probably good to get him some action again after uh, you know Wendy's been off uh, up in Scotland and uh, backstage with Trent and everywhere but uh, back home with the 14 kids they've got. <laughs> it's because of him walking into the lamppost. <laughs> In purely Belder, when he was pretending to be blind. <laughs> oh, dude. It's like he really trying to get a gimmick going, the most boring man in the JFW, <laughs> trying to show his acting skills as a blind man for some reason. How this is my man. pick. <laughs> oh, baby, it's time. <laughs> They have won three SFL championships between them. Oh, baby. It is the <laughs> winner. Three fives. Oh, wow. <laughs> there they are. J5 and Skirmetso. Oh, he's throwing up an X. Is he calling his shot on SFL season 10? <laughs> I think it's just because the... They're just from Generation X, aren't they? Maybe. Well, neither of them are Generation Well, one of them is Generation <laughs> One of them's kind of in-betweener, I think. Oh. <laughs> season 10. Well, we got to get through Season 9 first, but he just won Season 8, so he's got to defend that first. <laughs> yeah. Skuro known to have a lull in off-season. He usually has a little bit of a hangover from... Uh, from his previous championship win, you know, 
But winning the SFL title comes with a lot of responsibilities. All the media questions, all the fans asking constantly for him to tell the story of his SFL championships. Here they are, the winner three fives. Could you imagine tag belts? that stretched around their ample waists. <laughs> I think we need a few extra notches. But, um, <laughs> I tell you what, I've got word that Jimmy Fantastic was thinking about joining the SFL this season, and I think if he did, that would increase Guruvetzel's odds of winning season nine as well. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> and we are off, folks. Here we go. Try. Another former SFL champion, Try going after the three-timer. Try, of course, winning his title and then uh, vacating the premises because he knew he couldn't defend it with Skurametso <laughs> coming on. <laughs> Hello, Ali Raider. This is the, the final, the actual main event, an incredible triple threat TLC match tag team and the winner of this will become eventually the inaugural stand firm tag team oh, oh champions ca counter the counter the uh the the, the 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 chair smash there and scuro on point here getting the ladder going right in the ring but here comes try behind him he saw him coming though <laughs> not the first person yeah. to see try coming <laughs> <laughs> well actually probably was <laughs> sorry probably i was thinking about his body pillows <laughs> yeah yeah exactly body pillows have no eyes jim <laughs> oh wow look at that hit them both hit them both nah, with one doesn't want tries title it's oh more valuable God. for try to have God. one title to Skuro's three i think <laughs> But anyway, that's enough about the Blood Bowl. No one gives a shit about that game. We're talking pro wrestling here. Yep. And Top Rope Johnny oh has a ladder. God. And he drills Try with it. But here comes Rage Milk. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to oh, have to call him Rage Milk now. <laughs> I, think, I think they're just Rage Milk now. There we go, Dragon screwed a Skuro's bad knee. Oh, Nick missing wildly. Nick, interestingly, al being allowed to uh, compete in this match, some shifty COVID policy going on. Technically didn't have a negative test yet, but it's pretty fucking obvious he's got COVID right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. Well, I, I don't think Jim's, Mr. Jim Smith man really cares, but, you know, what people have got. They've, they're, paid, they're paid to do a job. I mean, they're not paid anything, but they've got to do it. <laughs> well, Mr. Jim Smith man, not, uh, not, not in charge of the booking on this show, thank God. That's why we get awesome matches like this in the finals. But here we go. Nice power slam by Calcium to take uh, Gdanik off, those, uh, off that contract. Mm -hmm. It's Meow's store because he's a cat porn enthusiast. <laughs> oh, look out! Look out, Skuro! Huge powerball oh, wow. by Flicky. Skuro in some trouble oh, here. Oh, God. another one! Deadlift! <laughs> oh, no! Try interrupting it! Oh, my God. Oh. That might have been a big boon for Skuro. It might have saved him some damage. And look out, Try going top rope outside to Flicky. Is he going to oh, fly like one of his anime fuckers? No. Nope. <laughs> Yes, he oh is. God, Drops the elbow to the back of the head. Oh, wow. Exploder and Nick, suplex. beautiful. Yeah, beautiful exploder suplex. Skuro, the only one on point here. Nick not paying attention. Magically making a table appear. <laughs> yeah. Skuro, Skuro just going out of his way to kick to kick Calcium while he's down. <laughs> no, Skuro no, says, you, you, won't, you won't climb this, J5. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Skuro looking out for his tag team partner. Probably knew something bad was going to happen there. But what's happening here? Oh, baby! There it is, the curb stop. And Nick is bleeding violently from the from the cat ears. But everyone everyone but Skuro in the ring right now. J5 wandering around with that ladder and decides to put it down. Oh, my God. Yes, it's American hero Gdanik, Alley Rider. What is what's so hard about that to understand? <laughs> yeah, come on, man. 
Oh wow, try to stop. <laughs> oh, oh look J5. out! J5 quick quick punch there to Flicky and a nice slam and now J5 alone in the ring, but not for long. Here comes Skuro and Calcium. Oh, oh the low block! Oh the dirty fuck! He knew he couldn't beat him clean. He had to cheat, but then he got a ladder to the back of the head. And now, is that table in the way of setting up the ladder? This could be a long match. It could be. Oh, dear. J5. <laughs> the old pickup put down. Amazing. Nope. Well, he's also not wearing a flag, Alley Rider. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know if you're aware of what a flag is and what a costume is, but uh, they're two entirely <laughs> different things. <laughs> Pedantic asshole. <laughs> and Skuro needs to focus here. Oh, no. Here comes Flicky. There we go. Oh, no. Nick with the save, though. Oh, Tri's got his hands on the briefcase. No one seems to be going after him at all. Oh, my God. No one's doing anything. <laughs> Skuro's just going oh, off the Oh, my God. God. There we go. Flicky finally <laughs> unbelievably saving the fucking day. <laughs> <laughs> Calcium taking a bit too long there, and now Flicky, yeah, that was a mistake by Flicky. <laughs> Skuro looking, oh, look out, looking for a pop-up powerbomb here. Uh-oh. He's got him. <laughs> On to the ladder, Ooh. we're going to say. Yeah, we're going to say. Hey, he's tossed off Calcium. Yeah, well. Dumping calcium out of important things is kind of Skuro's M.O. <laughs> the ring, SFL championships. <laughs> yeah. But here's G'day Nick. No. And J5 now. J5 up. J5's got to do something. J5's <laughs> got to do something. There we go. J5 not as quick as Nick up that ladder. <laughs> but it seems to have worked. Oh, and Skuro helps oh, out. Oh, look at this. The Skuro taking one for the team here. Can J5 do it? Can J5 do it? I think he's got it. I think he's oh, got I it. I think Calcium forgot how ladders work. <laughs> J5's got it. No! He was so close. Calcium almost choking like it was an SFL final there. Jesus Christ, Gorilla. How many times are you going to mention that in one match? I, I call it like I see it. What can I say? <laughs> Oh, big windmill from J5. Yeah. Table in the ring now. <laughs> nope. Table immediately out of the ring onto Skuro's back. Oh. Oh, wow. and a Vicious miss with the chair. with the chair. But we've seen all three weapons. That's what. That's all that matters. Yep. Yeah, it and is. Ladder coming right back in the ring here. J5 looking to set Look it up. He's still got this chair. He, he does. Is he gonna do anything? Oh. With this? Oh my God. He sure is. Absolutely. <laughs> Spikes J5 with that chair. Oh, he's kicking him in the head. Skuro might be broken. Nope, no, he's back in. And now Tri's got the la Oh, no, everyone's going after J5 with the weapons. Skuro coming to his aid here, trying to save oh. his partner. Oh, my God. Oh, and Calcium <laughs> bleeding on the outside. Here comes Skuro, though, taking it out on Flicky. Oh, oh my god, what is happening with that fucking lap? <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Amazing. Oh, and here we go, though. Try on the apron. Try punch to the outside. And ah, J5 followed him. <laughs> J5 needed to turn around and focus on Flicky Flack. <laughs> and now Flicky all alone in the center of the ring. Skuro desperately trying to get to his feet. Flicky going to go up that ladder. And here comes Skuro. Yep, Skuro not even going to give him a chance there. <laughs> Can and now Skuro Skuro's gonna set up the himself. Oh boy. No this could be good. Skuro taking his time. Here we go. He's going up. He's going up. Here comes Nick, though. And mm. wouldn't you know it, most of the SFL wins <laughs> in the ring. Oh, they're going to team up on Skuro. And Skuro desperately hanging and power bombed <laughs> onto the ladder. And now it's Nick and <laughs> Flicky here. And the Nick and the Flick. <laughs> Skuro and rolls Nick. out, oh, takes the ladder with him. <laughs> Oh my god, Skuro dead on that ladder. Oh, that didn't look good. <sighs> oh, J5 oh, nice, Yeah, nice counter by Try here. Try versus J5. 
Beautiful drop kick. It is. And here we go. Calcium versus Calcium bleeding profusely, but he's got those quick, those quick feet. Nice kick. And here we go. Rage Milk in the ring all alone. Nope. Try back in. Fast and furious action. Everyone but uh, Skuro really. Well, both the winner three fives. <laughs> both kind of down and out oh. right now. Oh, my God. What a hook by, by Nick. <laughs> And good day, Nick. Now, oh, J5, go up the ladder. No, J5 does not go up the ladder. You're an Aggie by good day, Nick. Say your line. I already said it. No. Oh. <laughs> and J5 here up. comes J5 going up, and Skrull's up on his feet. Skrull could be in for defense here. Skrull could be in for defense. No, he lost track of himself. Wait, he's done it. He's done it. The winner, three fives, have won it. Next week on Friday, Stand Firm, we will crown the winner three fives, your Stand Firm Two Heads Champions, baby. Woo! <laughs> J5 and Skirametsu weathering the storm and getting the big win. And surely titles will be around their waist in less than a week's time. And I cannot wait to be the one to put them there. Oh, baby. How awesome is that? Unbelievable win for Skirametsu and Johnny Five. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Absolutely. Yeah, glorious. love to see it. The two most beloved wrestlers in the JFW, if you're asking me. <laughs> J5 and Skur with the big win in the main event. Incredible. Incredible. And, folks, that is gonna do it. I hope we fired you up for the weekend. You've got a couple days until Monday Night Claw. But as always, we'll be here every Friday at 8 p.m. UTC on Friday. Stand firm, JFW Universe. Have a good night. Glorious. Thank you so much, Gorilla. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.